Oh. You just don't listen, do you? I explicitly told you not to poison anyone when I left you in charge last week. I bet you I wasn't even out of the cab at the train station when you had the paramedics arrive. Hey, save it. That wasn't my fault. The spud was radioactive before he walked in here. Well, I'm just saying it's never happened when I've been in charge. Must have been pretty scary, not to mention a real pain being quarantined, huh? Oh, the quarantine wasn't so bad. It didn't last that long. And Felicia was here. We found ways to pass the time. you would have had enough of Kelly's. I guess I was wrong. You sure I can't get either one of you anything? No. No. So I take it that you heard about the health department finally catching up with me? Actually, I was here. It's funny how Felicia keeps popping up at the most opportune moments. That was just a coincidence. Nobody knew that that guy was going to fall face down in his burger. I just feel sorry for Mac, that's all. He's been so badly hurt by all of this. Oh, it's Mac you're concerned about. I see. Well, you know, people do what they do. Are you sleeping with her? Oh, there you are. Have you given any thought as to how you're going to approach Stefan Friday night at Windermere? No one must see him with you. I'll be discreet, madam. Now he's certain he'll come. Like an unsuspecting moth to a flame, except this time I'm afraid he'll get a little too close. Helena, I need to speak with you. I think you'll enjoy it. I have to ask you a favor. I have no favors for you. You may go. Would you take the trash out with you? I'm a black belt. You may go. All right. Amuse me. What do you want? Why won't you give Jax access to the medication that Chloe needs? Why should I? What's in it for me? I'm not going to have this conversation with you. You're living your life, and I'm living mine, right? Yeah, right. Sorry, sorry. I was, um, out of line. What you and Felicia do is none of my business, of course. Not much of what you do these days is my business. I mean, besides Lulu, the only thing we have in common is Lucky, and we can't even agree about him. Lucky, I heard that you got together with your brother and that it was really nice. I'm glad. Let's get something straight. I'm back in Port Charles. I'm not running the other direction every time I see either one of you. So let's not use this as an invitation to try to suck me into one of your warm, fuzzy family delusions. Hey, hold it! The very least you owe your mother is respect. Nobody's trying to take away your independence or ambush you. We happen to all live in this too small town. And we ain't gonna tiptoe around it, Lucky. Just because you get bent every time we run into you. How about we just ignore each other? It feels like the best solution to me. Ah. God, he's too old to take over my knee. What are we gonna do? I don't know. But thank you. Come here. Damn. What's in it for you if you help Chloe? I'd say a lot. Jax, for instance. I mean, I, I think you're certain to win him over by helping out the woman that he loves. There is a big flaw in that line of reasoning. Okay, maybe you won't win him over, but you could certainly get him to take notice, or at the very least change his perception of you. All right, how about this? How about that you owe Chloe for running her over with your car that was meant to kill me? Oh, poor Natasha. Misguided as always. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you I had nothing to do with that unfortunate accident? Fine. You give Jax that medication that Chloe needs, and next time you need my help, 
I will help you, no questions asked. Oh, finally, an interesting author. But once your little girlfriend gets her miracle cure, what's to keep you from reneging? My word. And if you break it, may I have your life? <laughs> ah, you see? Oh. <laughs> Once again, your line of reasoning is irrational. If, as you believe, I've tried multiple times to kill you, how does it follow that I would ever need you? You are the most dispensable person I've ever known and always will be. The only reason that I have not up till now ripped your heart out with my bare hands is because I think, I believe, that there is some distant hope that you have an ounce of humanity in your diseased soul. Prove it. What has she ever done to you? Why would you do this? Because I can. Madam, the pharmacist is here. Bring him in. I have what you asked for. Two drops of this diluted in a liquid. Wine? Will paralyze a man even twice the size you described for hours. Well, I won't need nearly that long. better about letting things go. Of course, some things are harder than others. The hardest of all has got to be a child. I guess I just have to be grateful that Lucky is alive and well, and if he doesn't want anything to do with me, I, I'll just get used to it. Stefan, what part did he play? Now, Faison worked alone. Helena and Stefan had done nothing with me. Lucky! Why is my son here? You told me that this was going to be a family gathering. It's not. This is really between me and Lucky. I think we're finished. I am anyway. Wait a minute, I'd like you to sign some papers before you go. Yeah, what kind of papers? Just a formality to uh, close the investigation into your kidnapping. What? You can't close it. Sure, I can hang around for something like that. All right, it won't take long. Mac! Lucky was kidnapped. He was held hostage for a year. My God! Lucky, there are so many unanswered questions. But not legal ones. It's closed, whether you like it or not. Why are you protecting the people who hurt you? I'm not. I'm just trying to move on or get away from them. By closing this case, that's a good start. Maybe then they'll leave me alone. Please, hold off just a little bit longer. I can't. I can't. Lucky swears the only person responsible for his kidnapping is Cesar Faison. He's, he's dead. The case is closed. But Lucky, you were under a lot of stress during that year. It's possible that you're not remembering it all accurately. Why, well, he... You don't think I remember this last year? I just don't want you to do anything that you might regret later. Can we just move on with this? Look, I know this is difficult, but sometimes it's best to cut your losses and move on in spite of what you're feeling, Laura. Well, that's all I want. To put this past year behind me and be left alone. I don't think I'll ever be able to completely leave you alone. I love you way too much for that. You're right. Thanks for taking care of him. Oh, 
my family has a way of dragging everyone else into their personal problems. It's okay, you know, your mom and I have been friends a long time. But it's not okay with me. Lucky, when you died, a piece of Laura died too. You know, now that you're back, she, the last thing she wants is distance between you two. She created it every time she wasn't honest. You know what that's like? When the one person you can count on turns out to be the last person you can trust? You know, I, I bet you think my old man is a little out there, but basically an okay guy. Like, he's got his act together. Not exactly. Most people do, including my mother. But they're wrong. The less I have to do with either of them, the better off I am. Try not to close everyone out. I'm not. I know there's people I can count on, like my brother Nicholas. I hope you'll include me in that list. You are. I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you leveling with me about the night of the fire. Like one more thing, you know, I didn't ask your mom to come down here. I know that. She does a lot of work here for the outreach program. She probably saw you being questioned downstairs. But I did ask your dad. What's going on, Commissioner? That's what I'd like to know. What's he doing here? Well, since he followed you halfway around the world, I thought he could shed some light into your kidnapping. I don't know nothing that you haven't already heard. What does it matter anyway now? Why not? The case is closed. The hell it is! Wait, you want to argue with the commissioner? I'll leave. No, you stay. I'm leaving. Mac, you had no business dragging me down here and shoving me in my son's face. Sorry, Lucky. You know what? Can we just sign a statement and get this over with so I can get out of here? Yeah, I'll see if the papers are ready. Happy now? Yeah, I am. It's over. Well, it's not over for me. I know that Helena and Stefan were working with Faison before, during, and after the time you were nabbed. You know, you and Stefan are more alike than I realized. Every time I see you, you question me like the Inquisition. And I try to stay away from you, but you keep turning up, and so does he. Is he bugging you? Well, I'm surprised you two aren't running into each other on a consistent basis. Oh, that's just great. I've had about 35 opportunities to kill that bastard, and I haven't done it yet. What's wrong with me, huh? <sighs> Thank you. Are you all right? I just found out that... Lucky and Helena are in complete agreement about everything. In fact, she's his savior. And I'm not to be trusted. I see. So I guess we both lose. I don't get my son back. And you don't get your mother put away. Well, that remains to be seen. It's over. The police are closing the investigation. You'll be happy to know that you're off the hook. <laughs> Lucky swears that Faison is responsible for absolutely everything that was done to him. But you still don't believe that? You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. My son blames me for everything that's wrong in his life. Everything I say or do, he turns it around and uses it against me. He just, he doesn't trust my love for him at all. It's a terrible thing to be mistrusted in that way. Now, you can swear your love for someone, but if they're determined to see you as the enemy, there's nothing you can do about it. I didn't want to see you as the enemy. Nikos adored that port. Yes, madam. This is the last bottle of his private reserve. I'm sure it will be magnificent. Oh, I've been saving this bottle for a very special occasion. Well, then it would be perfect for tonight. What could be more special than the last evening I'll have to endure, ever, with a son I despise? For two people who never wanted to be enemies, we've spent a great deal of time at odds with one another. 
Well, we're very different. We come from two completely different worlds. We collided, and it was good for a while. A while. I devoted most of my life to you, Laura. What happened to your face? A minor altercation. I hope that it didn't have something. You know, when I first it. met you on the island, you were, you were in the garden. In tears. Right, and you were very kind to me. What do you suppose we were looking for? A way to survive the night. A friend. I wanted love. Because you thought Luke was dead. Yes. I didn't know how to live without him. Because your heart has always belonged to Luke. I lost years loving a dream, an illusion. I know that you lost years, but I lost my family, my firstborn child, and and now Lucky, and I lost Luke because I did love you, Stefan. And you did save my life more than once. You brought me Nicholas, and he gave me back Leslie Lou. But it wasn't good enough. I know you sacrificed an awful lot, and I'm sorry. I lost everything. Then why, when our love was tested, couldn't you believe in me? As usual, my father's overreacting instead of listening. Well, you get used to it. He only hears what he wants to and makes everything about a stupid war with the Cassidines. Not that I'm a fan of the Cassidines. You have my statement, right? Right here. Just take a look at it, read it, sign it, and the case against Helena is closed. You want to think real hard before you do that, cowboy. Faison kidnapped me because my father cheated him. That's right. The only one who came looking for me was Helena. This is fine. Case closed. Case closed. Just be sure. That means you stay away from Stefan. Okay, Commissioner. I'll stay away from him as long as he stays away from my kids! You lied to me so many times about so many things. I learned to accept it. I... I even made excuses for you, and then I tried to understand it. But then when I found out that you knew that Lucky was alive, and you didn't tell me about I'll it, I I'll regret just... that decision for the rest of my life. Well, the idea that you had my son and you took him to your country home where I grieved for him. I don't know, something just turned off inside me and I, I, I can't trust you again. I'm sorry, I, I can't. Oh. I suppose we can appreciate the irony anyway. I lied to you. Because I didn't trust you to stay with me. You didn't trust me because of the lies, so I lost you. It's getting late. I'm sorry. <laughs>